Dobar dan. Kako si? Super, ti? Dobro sam. Hvala. Wow. Yes! And in case you hadn't guessed, I'm in Serbia, by the banks of the beautiful Silver Lake. We are here in a town called Veliko Gradist, which means big city. Yes, my film, The Romance and Spirit of Sicily, has been selected for the Silafest Tourism Film Festival, and they've organised lots of amazing events for us. So let's go. This is the monastery, I think it's called Numane. Dumane, Dumane, not Numa Numae. It was built in the 14th century, and inside they've got some very interesting artwork on the wall. Yeah, it's like the whole thing is a fresco, but they have to paint it before the plaster dries, so they must be really fast painters. It was a heritage of one of the, our national heroes, uh, Miloš Obilić, who went on Kosovo battle to protect the Europe of Ottoman Empire. He's the guy who went there, go in the Turkish camp and kill Sultan Murat. So in this battle, uh, Serbs protect the Europe of the first invasion of the Turks on the Europa. He built this monastery because he wounded a monk who, became, who later became a saint and he felt bad. So he built this monastery to make up for his sins. One of the saints that got killed is actually buried inside a box inside the monastery. But time waits for no man, and the bit I'm really looking forward to is lunch, which the monks have kindly laid on for us. Just what I needed before our next challenge, which is, of course, a basketball tournament, of all things. The rule for the tree throwing is each person throws five times. Are you feeling confident? How are you? No, I am the shortest one. I am not <laughs> comfortable. I am feeling very confident and I'm playing very good basketball. So the most highly anticipated event of the Sealer Fest every year is the fishing competition. Talk me through this, what do we have? This is disgusting. It's really disgusting. You need to sing to a fish. And that's how you actually call all the fish to your place where you're fishing. Okay. It's, it's in Serbian. It means come fish, 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 come, come. Uh, I'm going to sing to your fishes this song. Coca-Cola, Marlboro, Suzuki, Disco, Peki. I didn't get a choice in who my partner was. I've been paired up with the host of the festival's daughter because apparently she's an expert. And uh, frankly, We'll cheat. Fishy on your little fishy. Lifeguard on his way. Three, two, one, stop! Cheers. It's a very meat heavy cuisine. Chicken chest, chicken medallions, chicken medallions with some sort of Cream cheese, chicken medallions with mushrooms, chicken legs, stuffed chicken leg, and fish. Fish is also available, but I had fish today, so I might have the woman's dream. What are you eating today? The shalitsa. So called ladies' toys. Ladies' toys? That's what this is. Why are they called them? They just look you like You have to ask the ladies. Now. Okay, and then uh, over here coming up now is. Now, what is this one called? Ladies' dream. Okay. Vietnam? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, I, so, you know, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, so we're now at the Golubuts fortress. Yes. And this is the, this is this is called the pigeon fortress. Does Golubuts mean pigeon? Yes. Oh, that means. Uh, Golub means pigeon. Legend has it that there was this beautiful girl called Golubana who this evil Ottoman sultan wanted for his wife. But she refused him, so he chained her to that rock over there where she was left to be eaten alive by the birds. I didn't know that pigeons ate human beings, but uh, maybe they did in those days. This is where the Danube is the widest, yes, and also so. it's where the Danube is the narrowest, so it narrows very quickly. It goes from 6.52 kilometers to 100 meters. I love the juxtaposition of the very old 14th century fortress next to the beautiful wind farms up there. Romanian border. Oh, is that the Romanian border? Yeah, That's Romania yeah, over wind there. Wind yes, Hello. Romania. Hello, Romania. Hello. Salut. Sundel un haiduk. Where are you going now? Uh, 
Uh, I don't know. Surprise. Yeah. Surprise. It's a magical mystery tour. Yes. Yes. So we're just heading off to the awards ceremony. So let's have a little talk with some of the contenders. Are you dressed to, to be a winner? No, well, no, but I figured if I uh, if I dressed, uh, if I anticipated it, then I probably wouldn't win. I, see, I, I, I just see. didn't want to. Didn't want to uh... No, we, we are all very much looking forward to it. As you can see behind me, all the contenders are milling around and getting ready to find out if they've won an award. That fella behind me won, produced an Oscar-winning film for Best Animation at the last Oscars. Jolly good show. A win for the Brits there, keeping the British end. Romance and spirit of Sicily. That's me. The Blue Danube Award for Best Tourism Recording. Romance and Spirit of Sicily by Julian MacDonald from the UK. Thank you to Boschko and all the, all the people from the, uh, the College of Tourism here. And uh, thank you to Massimo Provenza in Sicily because he'll probably kill me if I don't uh, say his name. <laughs> oh, uh, this is the best tourism reportage, of course. Well, that about wraps it up for the Sila Fest. If you like my videos, please hit the button and subscribe down the bottom and have a look at some of my other films and have a look at Lawrence's film as well. And we'll see you next time. And don't forget, if you've got a tourism film, sub submit it to the Sila Fest in Veliko Gradis. See ya! Sila Fest! Do